Hey folks, today we're diving into the legendary figure of Norse mythology, Odin. Odin's like the big boss of the Scandinavian gods, known for being a total multitasker. He's all about war, wisdom, magic, art, you name it. Now let's talk about Odin's origin story, which is kinda epic. So he's born to this god named Bor, and this god is called Bestla. Bestla's all about memory and life, while Bor's part of this group of gods called the Aesir. Now there's this wild tale about Odin creating the world. You see, there's this giant dude called Ymir, who's basically made of ice and darkness. Odin and his bros decide it's time for a change and take down Ymir. They use his body parts to craft the world. His flesh becomes the earth, his bones turn into mountains, his blood becomes the oceans. You get the idea. Odin's known for his one eye, long gray hair and beard. Sometimes he's rocking a crown or helmet, decked out in armor with a sword strapped to his side. Oh, and let's not forget Odin's magical gear. He's got Gungnir, a spear that never misses its mark, the cloak of secrecy for shapeshifting, the shield for ultimate protection, and the legendary sword raven. He's got a bunch of kids too, like Thor, Baldur, and Hoda. Valhalla, ruled by Odin, is where all the badass warriors hang out after they kick the bucket. But Odin's story doesn't end there. Ragnarok, the big finale of the world, sees Odin biting the dust in a massive battle. But hey, it's not just about the end, it's also about new beginnings and rebuilding. Thanks for tuning in, y'all.